What's up YouTube, it's ICU. And in today's video, I have some awesome news to share with you related to the forthcoming iOS 13 check rain jailbreak utility. And I know I just spoke with you guys yesterday regarding iOS 13.1.3. Definitely check out that video linked in your cards now as well as down below in the description, which also goes into whether or not you should update. But again, today's news is just too good not to share and not to make a video right away to talk to you guys about this new information. Also, toward the end of this video, I'm going to be giving you a recap on Checkmate and Check Rain and why you should actually care if you have a newer unsupported device like an A12 or A13 powered iPhone. Whatever you happen to own, you should care about Check Rain, and I'll tell you guys why momentarily. You can skip ahead if you guys are interested in that because at the very least, I highly recommend watching through that segment for newer device owners. With that said, let's go over a couple of tweets from the official CheckRain Twitter account, the first of which is actually a retweet from Hacker Nitto TV, who's working on adding support for the fourth generation Apple TV, which is vulnerable. In fact, the fifth gen Apple TV is also vulnerable, but because the fifth gen Apple TV does not have a USB port, there's still some work that needs to be done. It's unclear whether or not it will ever get support according to Nitto TV, but it could theoretically be possible. More research will need to be done on that front. But anyway, what he tweeted out is his response from running the uname a command, which prints a return for the kernel version. So he's running tvOS 13 here on this fourth gen Apple TV and in the video that's attached, it's just booting up and you can see that once it does come up to the device's springboard, it does in fact have retro arch, which is a jailbreak only package. So that's fantastic. It's in the first slot on the home screen there. So that's really cool that he has this working on the fourth gen Apple TV and it seems to even be as far along as to include support for third party packages, which is fantastic. And of course, third party packages are delivered on the fourth gen Apple TV through Nitto TV instead of Cydia. It's like the Cydia equivalent. So great news on that front, but the really epic news comes with an official check rain tweet stating, quote, T7000, S8000, T8015, T8015 on a mix of 12.x and 13. Okay, so what does this mean? Essentially, they're saying from left to right, these devices are an A8 powered iPod Touch, sixth generation, A9 powered iPhone 6s, A10 powered iPhone 7, and two A11 powered iPhone 10s. And you can see they're all plugged in via USB. So it's likely that these devices boot ROMs are being exploited in real time in this video. You can see here that the exploit is in fact running and then they boot up to their lock screens. So this is almost certainly booting tethered into the device's jailbroken state. Now, as far as that goes, there's been a lot of confusion. Yes, the check rain jailbreak in any jailbreak that's a derivative or a direct result of the checkmate exploit will be tethered. However, that doesn't necessarily mean that the only way to use your device would be to boot it tethered. You could, in theory, depending on how the jailbreak was developed, still be able to reboot your device. You just wouldn't be able to use your jailbreak quote unquote stuff to put it into layman's terms without plugging back into a computer and rerunning a certain portion of the jailbreak to redeploy that boot ROM exploit. So that's the only caveat, but the big advantage here is that these devices are jailbroken for life. And once check rain releases, if it's maintained, we should receive a jailbreak for every single iOS version on supported devices, which will be up to the iPhone 10. A11 powered devices and lower are supported. And that brings me to my next and final point for this video. Why you should care if you have a device like an iPhone 10s, 10s Max, 10R, or A13 powered iPhone 11, any of the three different models. So essentially Checkmate is a low level boot ROM exploit. Now previously we'd have to wait for months for either one or two jailbreaks per major version of iOS. For example, iOS 12 got Uncover and Chimera, first for iOS 12.1.2 and then for iOS 12.4 as the target firmwares. That's all about to change with the first iOS 13 jailbreak, which at this point is all but guaranteed to be Checkrain, which is based on the aforementioned Checkmate exploit. Exploit. And you might be asking, well, why is Checkmate so powerful? It's due to its low level nature. It simply cannot be patched by Apple with iOS updates. It's exploitable for life on supported devices. Now, Apple did close this exploit 
in A12 powered devices and up. So obviously A13 has that as well. But as far as A12 and A13 go, again, iPhone XS through iPhone 11, they will also benefit. See, a permanent jailbreak for older devices will result in new jailbreak iOS 13 and higher exploits for all devices. It's really just as simple as that because if researchers have a permanent zero day environment to work with on the latest versions of iOS, they can discover exploits that much quote, easier. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not easy at all, but we should see a plethora of new security research being done on iOS and new kernel vulnerabilities as a direct result of that, which will in fact lead to new jailbreaks for newer devices as well. Jailbreaks like what we're used to with again, Uncover and Chimera in their quote, semi untethered state, where again, you can reboot your device and you can redeploy the kernel exploit without the assistance of a computer. You don't have to plug in. Those of you who are familiar know, all you have to do is just rerun the jailbreak on device. So we'll get more jailbreaks of that style as a direct result of the security research that will now be able to be done once Check Rain is released. We're about to enter a huge golden age of jailbreaking. I really cannot stress that enough. I, for one, am so excited. I hope you guys are too. And again, if you're still at all confused or you need more information or a further explanation, definitely check down below in the description. I'm going to have my full Checkmate Jailbreak series linked there. And until next time, this is ACU signing out.